We thank you, Father God, for watching on us all through 2019. Yes, Lord. And Father God, bless us to see a new year. Yeah. And Father God, as we go, along, go about this journey, Father God, it's a long journey, Father God. We don't know what's going to happen, what's going to be. Yeah. We trust you with it, Father God. We pray that you will lead and guide us the way that we should go. Keep, keep loving our market, everybody, Father God. Yeah, Lord. Our Father, we need prayer in our government, Father God. We need prayer in our business. We need prayer in our church. We need prayer in our school, Father God. We need prayer in our jail cells. Yes, we need prayer Lord. in our police department. We need prayer everywhere we go, Father God. We yes, need you, Father Lord. God. Without you, we can do nothing. Yes, you sit high and look low. You know what happened. You know what's going to happen before it happened. Because you are God Almighty. Yeah. You made us, and, we, you, and you made us, and you know what we're going to do. And Father God, I just pray for all the people everywhere. Yeah. All the sick and afflicted everywhere, Father God. All the bereavement families everywhere, Father God. All the people that have gone through hard times, Father God, yes, watch over, Father God. Yes, and Father God, I thank you for blessing me, Father God, in my time, my trial and tribulation. Yes. You never left me, not forsake me, Father God. We yes. all sin, it. we all have sin that comes short of the glory of God. Yes. Father God, you saw something in, the, in us that brought yes. us back to you, Father God. We want to serve, we want to love you. Well, you can't love you enough, you can't serve you enough. Yes. We have to ask you for everything, Father God, and thank you for everything. Because yes. we can't do nothing without you. We just love you and thank you and serve and keep loving our heart with all this love, God. If we can find anyone that have hate in their heart, Father God, I pray that you would remove it and yes, put love in our heart. Yes, we can't keep this, we live in a perilous time, Father God, everywhere we turn is evil. Evil is everywhere. You can't go outside the evil. You can't just leave in your home everywhere we go. And I just thank you, Father God. Keep us covered with your blood.
was at UCLA last night and um, at the uh, uh, express entrance and um, uh, I found myself kind of like dazed because I was looking like it's cold. How are these people walking in here like it's 92 degrees outside? <laughs> Just the strutting and, and shoulders all out. I said, well, the next candidate for arthritis. Yeah, yeah, amen. When they get older and they get to their shoulders, they start wondering what happened. Yeah. And, uh, they look back on them days when they was, uh, you know, being cute go be, go be a cost to be cute. Yeah. 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 You got that kid trying to catch you, you ain't going to catch nothing but a cold. That's Wrap up. Uh, don't be in such a hurry. Uh, uh, the old folks used to tell you, you know, don't jump in the tub and the shower and then run right out. Because your pores are open. That's right. You know, I, did, I didn't believe that until I got sick. So uh, I had to readjust. I thought because I was 16, I could just jump out there and take a shower and my hair wet. Yep. Big old afro. Yeah. It, it may have been dry on the top and down in the roots. It was wet. Right, right, right. And uh, my tonsils and everything swole up. And I'm yeah. trying to hide it from my mama. My mama standing in the doorway looking. She said, you went out there with your hair wet, didn't you? Yeah. I couldn't tell her no because my throat. Yeah. <laughs> mama, uh, mama, can you? She had already prepared some lemon. And, and and honey and the tea and then she go give me a instruction. You better not go outside today. <laughs> you tell me I can't go outside. Today. But uh, wisdom, yeah. Amen. wisdom Amen. paid off in the end. So uh, we want to make sure that we take care of ourselves because we need healthy bodies in order to do the work of the Lord. Amen. 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 All right. What is February 26th? Big Grove Family Friends Day. All right, let's try it again. What is February 26th? Friends and Family Day. Wait a minute. Let's do it like this. Cedar Grove Family and Friends Day. It may be Family and Friends Day somewhere else, but we're going to decide it's going down here. All right. What is February 26th? All right, we almost got it. I want to hear that choir. One, two, three. See the family and Day. All right, now hopefully that got in your spirit and it get in your fingers and you get on your phone. Amen. Or if you have family and friends in your home, let them know. February 26th. Amen. Family and friends, they each one tell one, each one bring one. Amen. 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 We're looking for everyone here at 8 a.m. on that Sunday morning. Amen. It will be a blessing to our family and our friends as they come in. There are special uh, little things that are going to be going on. Uh, so we want to we want to be we want to be here. Amen. Sure that we're here on that day. I ask everyone to please stand right where you are. If you don't mind touching somebody, touch your body head. If you don't want to touch your body head, touch your body shoulder. Make sure nobody is untouched. And we need to pray for one another.
can come down. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we come today. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We first, thank you for the forgiveness of sin. We yes, acknowledge yes, our sins yes, and our iniquities before yes. thee. Yes, that you would wash us and make us clean for your service. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, for this and these are your people. We thank you for this place of worship. We take nothing for granted as we look across this world, this dangerous world, and see how there are those that would love to have a place of worship, have to worship you in secret, have to worship you in hiding. But we can freely worship you. We can call upon your name without being persecuted. We can lift up your name without being ridiculed. We are not worried about militia. We're not worried about an army, about any government coming in, closing us down and telling us we can't call on your great name. So we take nothing for granted. We thank you even right now for this church and this community. Let it continue to be a light in this community. Let it continue to show forth your love, your mercy, your, and your great salvation. We pray for those that are sick today, Lord God. Those that desire to be here, could be here. I ask you to touch their body from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Move down every bedroom, every bed. Move in the hospital. In places, Lord God, where those that are confined in beds and wheelchairs but are lifting up your name and praising you in their own way today. We pray for the hands we hold and who we touch. You said two or three touches and agree in your name it would be so. So whatever my brother needs, whatever my sister needs, we ask that you supply it. Right now, do it for them. That your name may be glorified. Do it for them. That your name may be exalted. That the world, a dying world that does not know you, would know that we serve a risen Savior. He is in the world today. Thank you for living in us. Thank you for your great salvation, so full and so free. God bless us in this worship experience. Let us not. Never forget the blood that was shed on Calvary. In Jesus' name we do pray. Thank God and amen. Put your hands together. Oh, Bishop, she double-clutched. Oh, 
All right. Amen. Quick correction, please forgive me. Charge it to my head, not my heart. I, I, uh, that's why y'all didn't respond because February is next month. I don't know what January 26th. Yes, hallelujah. Please forgive me. I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm too futuristic. Amen. All right. Very quickly, for a few moments, back in the book of Genesis, chapter 19, and verse number 26. Also, I uh, want you to turn to the book of Job, chapter number 1, in the B clause of verse number 12. Genesis chapter number 19, 26 says, but his wife looked back behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Job chapter number one. Verse number 12. The B call says, Behold all that he has is in your power. All that he has all that he has. Yeah, yeah. Remember that all that he has is in your power. Mm -hmm. Again, from the consequences of looking back, today we want to talk about leave that stuff behind. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. Leave, leave that stuff behind. <laughs> we be seated in the presence of the Lord. Father, we do thank you. Bless you. We glorify you for this day. Now hide us behind the cross till they see more of thee and less of me in this time and this season. Thank you for this new year, new opportunity, new possibilities. In Jesus, name. In Jesus name, amen. I want to open up by saying to you, my brothers and sisters, that life is a systematic timeline of occurrences that include things gained and lost. Ecclesiastes chapter number three, verses one through eight gives us a timeline and a cycle sure enough. that talks about the things that we will have, things that we will gain, things that we will lose, there are things that we have to get rid of. Yeah, yeah. And for the most part, we have a problem in leaving stuff behind. All right. Amen. Amen. In this systematic timeline of occurrences, this is not, it, this is not exclusive to just material things right. which we work hard for sure. and are desirous of but also the gains and losses of family both immediate and distant yes. friends and associates yes. nonetheless eventually they will be taken uh, taken away from us well. Job says in chapter number 13, verses 27 and 28, you set a limit for the soles of my feet. Man decays like a rotten thing, like a garment that is moth-eaten. In other words, there is a time limit yes, yes. as to things that you will possess. Yes. A time limit. If you look back through the elements of your mind, there are some things that are no longer in your possession. Mm. And there are times when you question, I wonder what happened to that particular piece or that particular item or that particular piece of material. But Job says that man decays 
like a rotten thing. And nobody likes nothing rotten. Amen, amen. There's, there's, there's a new commercial out uh, where these uh, raccoons are on a, uh, a, 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 in a food court. And they're trying to sell rotten food. Amen. Trashy food mm. to people. And, and what was amazing to me, first of all, that they got somebody's attention. Amen. Oh. Amen. Number two, for them to have a conversation with raccoons. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And then thirdly, to almost be persuaded until they said one thing about this food that they wanted to try to give to them or sell to them that was just not appealing and appetizing. But that's life. There are things that happen like that to us in life. We get sidetracked and get consumed by things that we really know are not going to be beneficial or good to us. Yes, yes. Miss Locke's inability to let go and leave the material things behind mm -hmm. caused her to be stuck in a fruitless past. Yes. Mm -hmm. A past that held her captive. Yes. Mm -hmm. A past that held her in clutches because she was so enamored by things. Yes, yes. hallelujah. Not only did it Make her stuck. Yes. Nothing, there's nothing worse than being stuck. Yeah. Hallelujah. I, 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 I like to be around progressive people. Even if they're going the wrong way, at least they move it. I, I can't stand to be around folk that's stuck. Yeah, yeah. Going nowhere fast. And they're just looking around. You know you ain't going the wrong way. Do something. If you if, if, if it makes a U-turn or pull over to the side of the road, but don't just stand there in the middle of nothing looking around, gazing, trying to figure out you stuck. Yeah, yeah. Some people are stuck because of material things. They're still holding on and clutching on and hanging on. One thing that I've learned is I ain't hanging on or with folk that don't want to hang on to me. Just because you say who you are, just because you got a title, just because you think that you missed the big shot, baby, I can do bad all by myself. And now she's stuck in a fruitless past, immobilized to present possibilities and restricted from a better and a greater possession in the future. Immobilize. Immobilize. You 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 just you there, but you ain't there. And people are passing you by and you wondering why everybody's progressing and moving forward because you stop holding on to stuff in the past. Days are gone. Some some things some things yesterday is tucked in the the hem of eternity past. Yes, yes. The present is what you are accountable for, yes. and the future is uncertain. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Stuck back. Stuck looking back. Wondering where he is, and he ain't thinking nothing about you. Stuck, wondering where she is and who she with. So what? You can't do nothing about it. She left you. There's two things I want you to remember in this life. Either it's gonna leave you, or you gonna leave it. She was unable to leave that stuff behind because she had acquired and had planned and, and had, 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 had positioned. You, 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 you've ever prepared something and wound up being for somebody else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You sitting back there thinking about, uh, I can't believe that I, that I did all of that. Somebody else is enjoying what I did. I had it going on. And, 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 and now somebody else is enjoying it. Well, it wasn't ever yours in the beginning. It, it was just a temporary thing to get you to see what potential possibilities are in you for something bigger and better than where you were. People have lost homes. You know, they said, uh, I can't believe I lost that house. I fixed it up. Yes, yes. Painted it and I, I caught it just right. Well, you remember you prayed for a four bedroom yes, yes. with a swimming pool and a jacuzzi. Yes, yes. But you stopped worrying about that one bedroom yes. with a microwave uh, 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 and a little refrigerator when you wanted, when God is trying to get you to go down the lows and get yes. the double door. Stay the seat. Stuck worrying about that, and I had some, I had some scripts up in there, and I, I had, I had T-bone sticking there. God is trying to move you to filet mignon, and you still worrying about chuck beef. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with it. But I, every now and then, ain't nothing wrong with getting a filet mignon either. Come on, help me somebody. Then it's, it's all right to leave Denny's and go to Ruth Chris. Yeah. Amen. Leave, leave, leave that little uh, uh, paper, paper uh, 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 napkin and get you some linen. Ain't nothing wrong with it because God wants you to, to look at better because you are King's kid. And if I'm a King's kid, I don't walk. Like it, I, I, I read. I don't know how true it is. Kind of shocked me, but I, I saw uh, uh, who's that? Uh, 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 Harry uh, said that you know I ain't following all that old traditional stuff. Him and his wife have gone to Canada because he's not gonna be stuck in past traditions. He's not gonna be stuck under a regime that limits his potential yes. and the possibilities that are set for his children. Yes. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Y'all saw it. You don't know, act like y'all look every now and then when I'm passing through, I look and it catches my eye and I say, okay, now what is Harry doing now? When I found out Harry had left England. <laughs> England. Lord, I'm just, what are you going to do now? He refused to be stuck with the stuff that somebody else owns. While things are being taken away from us, people are being taken away from us, loved ones are being taken away from us, jobs and homes. One thing that we can say about Brother Joe. Yes, yes. This is very interesting, and I'm closing. God had allowed Satan yes, to yes. even consider him. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let, 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 me, let me roll that back so you understand. Some of us are having the situations we're having because Satan has looked at your life and gone to God and God said, well, have you considered them? Wow. All the stuff that you've been put in front of them and they still trucking on. Have you considered them? Have you seen what you've done to them and they still come and with tear-stained eyes lift up both hands and give me praise? Have you considered them? Say, you say, yeah, I looked at them. And the only reason because you got a head to run. You want to thank God. And Satan ain't got to you like he wanted to because God got a head around you. Got a head around you, protecting you. The angels are protecting you, watching over you all day and all night. The blood of Jesus Christ keeps you and washes you and sustains you, is watching over you day and night. And even though God gave him permission, he said, You can touch his stuff. But you can't touch them. Oh, uh, yeah. And then what Hammer said, you can't touch this. You may be able to get my stuff, but you can't get to me because God has limited.
should say as to what he can and what he can do. And look and see what happened while Satan went out. He didn't waste no time. He went directly for Satan, for, for uh, Job's stuff. And, and while the day was yet, he said his daughters and sons were eating and having a good time. Isn't it interesting how you work for stuff and your kids benefit from it? Yeah. yeah and they take yeah. advantage of it and they ain't work for nothing, but they feel entitled yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And while they were all having a good time, they said that the messenger came in and said the oxen and the donkeys were plowing and feeding in the field. Yeah. And while we were out there, the Sabians came in and took them and killed them and, and killed all your servants, Job. And I'm the only one yeah. Yeah. that come back to tell you while and what happened. And while he was speaking, it said, there came another one and said, it fire from heaven came down and, and it killed and burned up your sheep and, and your servants and consumed them and I'm the only one escaped and then while he was talking and giving his report another one came in and said the Chaldeans came in oh and formed three bands and raided and killed your servants with the sword and while he was speaking somebody else came in and said your daughters and your sons were drinking and, and, and having a good time. They was at the party and a wind came in and smoked the house and killed all of them. All of us have, have you ever had that kind of experience? And while one thing went, here comes another. As we say, if it ain't one thing, it's another. And Job experienced, if it ain't one thing, it's another. But Job did not get mad at God. Uh, it said he rose up and he, he tore his robe and he shaved his head uh, and fell to the ground and worshipped. Uh, I wish we had more Christians uh, that when things go wrong, uh, that they would start to worship instead of complaining. Uh, did you hear what I said? Uh, and Job said this to him. Uh, he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb and naked shall I return but he said the Lord have given and the Lord have taken away but he said blessed be the name of the Lord and in all of this Job did not charge God wrongfully and whether you know it or not sometimes God will put you to test your character and to test your integrity. So whatever you're going through, whatever's going in your life, leave that stuff behind and begin to worship God. Give your neighbor a high five and tell your neighbor, I will bless the Lord.
Yeah. Yeah. But she was too afraid yeah. to let that stuff go. Yeah. 